Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on the Divine Messages podcast. My name is Karina, and I am a psychic medium out of Calgary, Alberta. Today's episode is about envy and jealousy. These two emotions are both considered poisonous and negative. Jealousy and envy are rated number 20 out of 22 on the emotional scale, making it one of the lowest vibrations. They can leave you feeling miserable, exhausted, and even ruin your relationships. Even though they are both negative emotions, they are actually different from one another. Envy is a two-person relationship. It is wanting what another person has. Now, jealousy is a three-person relationship triangle where you want the recognition that someone else is getting from another. So if you are wishing that you had that friend's large house, that is envy. But if you feel threatened by the attention that your friend is giving your spouse or your partner, that is jealousy. If you are envious towards someone, it's because of something that they possess, such as their success. And if you are feeling jealous, it's because you are afraid to lose the admiration or love to a third party. Both of them are natural instincts, but it's important to learn how to manage them so that they don't rob you of your peace, leaving you feeling unworthy of good. I read a very interesting article recently that said, in Buddhism, whatever causes our suffering has its roots in the three poisons, ignorance, hate, and greed. They said that ignorance was the mother of all poisons and that it is the belief that things are fixed and permanent. When we see that someone is doing better than us, instead of focusing on how we can improve our own lives, we get stuck believing that our current status is all that we are and all that we have. There will always be people that will be better and worse than us, and when we compare, we look at what others have with jealousy and envy. They also said that hate arises from ignorance. It is the belief that the world revolves around us and that we want to stand out in the universe instead of viewing ourselves as connected and one. When we start seeing everyone as a competitor or an enemy, envy and jealousy become a defense mechanism. Now greed, they said, is not just wanting more, it's the fantasy that adding more stuff will provide a form of personal gratification. Greed is also based on a need to protect our status, and we end up believing that objects define who we are. And as I read this article, I was inspired to do an episode about envy and jealousy because sadly, there are too many people caught up in the negative emotions and it's robbing them from finding and experiencing their own happiness. One of the things that I have struggled with myself over the last 20 years has been the envy that I have felt for my friends and family that are living in year-round warm or hot weather. And this is even hard for me to admit, but I need to be truthful and explain what I've been doing to work on that. As I mentioned in previous episodes, we moved to Costa Rica when I was 19 and lived there on and off for a couple of years, and I never wanted to leave because that weather and ocean felt like home to me. I always knew that living somewhere warm would be part of my destiny in this life because I struggle so badly with seasonal affective disorder, and I have never felt at home in Canada. And yes, that may sound crazy seeing as I was born and raised here, but in my heart I have always felt that this is not where I belonged. So before my husband and I moved across Canada from Ontario to Alberta, we were actually trying to apply for jobs in Australia. That was our first choice. Even though we hadn't even been there yet, we felt very drawn to it. But out of nowhere, and I mean literally nowhere, Nick got an interview at a company here in Calgary. And here we are today, 13 years later. I can now understand why we were destined to come here, for this was where my spiritual awakening happened. This is where I was meant to teach and help others. But over the years, I have found myself envious of my family and friends that were living the life that I was dreaming about. The life, you know, where they could wake up and go outside and smell the ocean air, where they could walk barefoot year-round, where they could be in nature every single day without their faces freezing off like here in Canada during the very long, long winter months. Each year, I would find it very difficult to see their beautiful photos on social media during the months that I would be struggling to get out of bed and go out the door in minus 40 degree weather. Even though I was blessed to be able to visit warm countries at least once during the winter, I found that after the holiday was over, I struggled even more because coming back home was so painful for me. It was so painful that I had to work so hard on healing myself so that I didn't fall into a deep depression. And don't get me wrong, I always genuinely showed gratitude to the universe for those blessings. I knew that it was a gift. I know how fortunate we are to have been able to travel, and I do not ever take that for granted. 
I just always found myself yearning for the life that we used to have, which was living by the ocean. And it wasn't that I wasn't happy for the ones that were living the life that I dreamed about. I was just so caught up in envy that I was wishing for what they had, something that I once had myself. In this last year during this pandemic, not being able to travel anywhere has taught me so much. It has taught me that I need to keep my dream alive of moving to my warm, peaceful, forever place. I need to be grateful, so grateful for the life that I already do have. And it taught me that I cannot continuously run for my life here and that I need to appreciate where I am along this journey of mine. It taught me to slow down and appreciate everything that truly does happen in divine timing. And with hope, faith, and trust, my turn will come once I fulfill my purpose here. But for the time being, I need to choose to be happy with where I am at. Each and every one of us will experience envy and jealousy throughout our lifetimes. It is part of living a human existence. But there comes a point in life that we need to learn to let go and live our lives for what is meant for us. Wherever you are in life is where you are meant to be for now. And whatever you may or may not have is also part of your journey. You want that soulmate because some of your friends are living a life that you are wishing for? Then you must manifest them into existence. You want that dream job, dream house, or dream location? Then also work on manifesting that. And if things aren't happening as fast as you would like them to, just as I am wishing to move, there is a reason for it. Divine timing is always at play. We want things to happen when we want them to happen. And we try to force and control the outcome because we see others living what we would like for our lives. And there comes that envy and jealousy. If we learn that we can co-create our desires with the universe, our dreams will come true as well. We just need to trust the process and appreciate every single thing that we already do have. And then there is the most important key to the universe in manifesting. Be happy for others' success. The grass is not always greener on the other side, and you don't know what they had to overcome to get where they are today. The happier you are for others, the more the universe will give you to be happy for. So now when I see beautiful posts from my family and friends, I think, wow, they are so blessed to live in such a beautiful place, and I can't wait to experience that same feeling. I feel it, I envision it, and I am manifesting it. Now in that same article that I read, they said that because ignorance is the mother of all poisons, then wisdom was the antidote for envy and jealousy. To be wise was to appreciate the water that surrounds you, and I love that. They said that the antidote for greed is generosity, and the one for hate is loving kindness. So really think about this. We do not need to possess any object or person to be ourselves. They may contribute to our joy, but our happiness definitely doesn't depend on them. Happiness comes from within. So what can you do to free yourself from the vibration of envy and jealousy? Well, the first thing you can do is to free yourself from comparison. Learn to appreciate everything about yourself and be proud of how far you have made it in life no matter the challenges. You are not what you possess. You are not defined by things at all. And what is meant for another may not be meant for you and that is perfectly okay. Live your life for you. Live a life that brings you as much joy and peace without comparing what others may have. And you may think that another's life is way better than yours, but perhaps maybe they are thinking the very same thing about you. The second thing is to increase your self-awareness. Learn to know and accept yourself. Learn to stop judging yourself for what you do or do not have. And when you learn to be kind, accepting, and forgiving with yourself, you will find that you will not need people or possessions to feel better about your life. And the third thing is, be inspired by others without being envious, and always, always strive to be your own unique self. We each have our own strengths and abilities, and no one can be you, nor can you be them. The only one that you should ever try to be better than is yourself. If you learn to stay true to who you are, what you believe in, and what you want out of life, there will be no room for envy or jealousy. So I want to leave you all with this today. Gratitude and appreciation are one of the most important ways that you can overcome the negative emotions of envy and jealousy. Tell the universe how much you appreciate every single thing that you do have in your life, and the universe will provide more for you to be thankful for. That is how the law of attraction works. 
Start believing that you are living in the flow of abundance and you will attract it. Remember that each and every one of us has an individual journey and what is meant for us will happen. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today on the Divine Messages podcast. And remember, you can manifest all that you dream of by being grateful, by being happy for others, and by believing in using the law of attraction in your favor. Please bear in mind that the perspectives and opinions represented in this podcast are based solely on the Divine Messages interpretations. We can in no way be held responsible for the actions of our followers.